Hello tubers. Yes to breeze. I-700. Our longer blades better. Today we have a northern wind around 30 kilometers an hour with gusts up to 50 kilometers an hour. So I have the I-1500 and I decided in testing just to test and see if the I-1500 uh, blades would give the I-700 better performance. You think longer blades are better? Well in this testing, let's find out. It's got a direct fit three blade uh, propeller right off the I-1500. Just a quick simple swap out. Took the other hub off, put this hub on with the longer blades. The blades that come off of the I-700 are a 90 centimeter blade. That's around 36 inches. These blades are 107 centimeters. So they're about six to seven inches longer. The only turbine of the hubs uh, with the Istabreeze turbine, uh, they all are a direct fit with each other for the 700, 1000, 1500, and the 2000 for the hub. They're all the same hub in my case. Uh, the only one with different blades is the I-700. It has the nine, 90 centimeter blade and the other three turbines, the 1000, 1500, and 2000, they all have the 107 centimeter blade. So I thought I'd try it. I got the 1500 anyway. It didn't cost me anything except my time. So hope this helps. Are they better? Here's the results. Now watching this, I've already uh, studied it now for a day. We're in again 30 kilometer winds with the I-1500 hub and blades. I assumed it may produce more. I was wrong. It is not producing more. It's creating more drag and obviously it's been tested so and they have trimmed the blades down. The blades are the exact same blade. They look and appear to be identical in every way, except they're shorter. They're shorter by about six to seven inches, and this turbine with them blades and hub is struggling to hit 100 watts. Now you can see I'm hitting it there now, but we're in 30 to 30 kilometer winds with 50 kilometer gusts. And the results are even more disappointing than the initial blades that came with it. So this turbine is not hitting uh, the results that I was looking for and most of my wind is 20 kilometer or 40 kilometer wind. And today it's 30 kilometer uh, up to 50 kilometer gusts. So this turbine in order to be productive uh, has to be either modified in another way. Now I, I did see one gentleman on YouTube who had his modified and he was hitting five and six hundred watts and I asked him a couple of questions and he was going through a net metering inverter selling back and he was hitting five and six hundred watts with his uh, Estabreeze I-700 I but he told me that he had replaced the tail and he had replaced the blades with a different hub well the five blade hub from Estabreeze and he had replaced the blades in the tail and the blades were the KT2s and those blades are shorter but there's more of them there was five of them and I believe they're uh, the blade that's on there that comes with the Estabreeze I-700 is I like to work in inches and not centimeters so they're about a 36 inch blade and there's three of them and with that said this other gentleman had I believe the KT2s were 32 inches or you can get them in 28 inches as well. Uh, he had five of them and it was producing uh, somewhere around five and six hundred watts in his video. It's only a minute long video but it was interesting to know that he was getting uh, well what the turbine is supposed to produce uh, and what I'm getting is not anywhere near that so I do have uh, other blades and I'm gonna in my next test order the uh, hub the five blade hub and I'll uh, 
drill it out to fit the other blades and we'll come up with some different results because the results I'm getting they are just not uh, they're not the results that uh, I'm looking for most of the wind is basically uh, 20 to 40 kilometers 20 20 and 30 kilometers even and with them numbers I need this to produce more than that and with these blades it's struggling to hit 100 watts and with the other blades that came with it it uh, it's struggling to hit 300 watts so with that said I'm going to try another test and when I do tubers I'll, I'll send you the results and it's going to be a five blade and it's going to be uh, I believe they're 28 inch blades and they're similar to the KT2's but uh, with that said these are the results of the I-1500 blades I've already got the turbine it's over here it'll be another month before I fly it it's not ready got to cement the base in the ground with that said we're going to fly uh, uh, another hub on there and we'll see what the results of that uh, that are they're a five blade hub and uh, with that said we'll give you them results these are very poor results on 30 kilometer winds with 50 kilometer gusts with the I-1500 blades on it so in order to harvest what I'm looking for or get the gain I need I need to uh, well swap out the blades and give it the uh, the other test and it's just a matter of buying a hub and mounting the other uh, 28 inch blades to it but looking for uh, updates anybody has any updates on the i-27 or the Histabreeze i-700 what have they done to make their turbine produce uh, I'd be interested to know here's my findings and my results of uh, this test and they were not uh, well what one would think it is a bigger swept area in the wind by about 12 or 13 maybe 14 inches but the results are very poor and uh, again struggling to hit 100 watts in this wind uh, with the other blades I'd struggle to hit 300 watts but I believe with the, uh, the five blades that'll be the next test and uh, we'll see what uh, well what the results will be for that uh, thanks for watching and uh, another follow-up video will be coming with the five blade test and we'll see what the results for that are that's all I got.